we're going to look at what exactly some of the great African-American intellectuals and scholars of the 20th century did. So here's Du Bois. Uh, and these are just a few of the things that uh, were written, but you can see the slave, rural, and urban focus here. Uh, this book here, The Suppression of the African Slave Trade, was his doctoral thesis at Harvard, and, uh, and so on. There's a lot, of, lot to talk about in terms of these particular studies. The main thing is they were interested in what were the stages by which African Americans were moving toward freedom. And in each of these instances, what Du Bois, for example, was talking about uh, there were two things. The first thing was to attack the notion that a slave-owning country could be civilized. He attacked that notion. And the second thing is he looked at the political economy of the experience. And that's what these studies of uh, the rural experience, the study of the Philadelphia Negro and uh, Black Reconstruction in America in particular. So Du Bois. Uh, I strongly recommend that in the course of your study, the people I'm showing you, that you read one or more of their works. Now Carter Woodson is really the dean or father of black history, is called. Uh, again, uh, he did his undergraduate work at the University of Chicago. He got his PhD at Harvard and organized black historians. That's the main thing. So, for example, on Wednesday, I'm getting on a plane and I'm going to North Carolina to the meeting, the annual meeting of the Association for the Study of Afro-American Life and History. That's the organization that he founded. And basically, black historians throughout the country maybe 1,000 or 1,200 people will be gathering in North Carolina to read papers and to talk about the recent research. Uh, he founded the Journal of Negro History. Uh, he uh, founded a newsletter called Negro History Bulletin. It's now called the Journal of African American History. Now, E. Franklin Frazier, as I mentioned before, was a sociologist. Uh, he worked at uh, Fisk and Atlanta University, but his main career was at Howard. And his focus was on institutions. And so he was the, laid the basis for the study of the black family. And he also studied class. This book here, Black Bourgeoisie, is really the most famous book on the black middle class, uh, which he wrote when he was uh, in Paris, which is why it's spelled that way. <laughs> 